second to last uh, presentation. And as the um, president said, it's entitled um, How to Use the Power of Social Media for My Business, or Our Business. Now, I, I, I think uh, it would be appropriate for me just to say, I don't know much about social media, but I, I'm pretty sure what it means is internet, Facebook, uh, and that type of. Uh, for guys around my age, you know, like so, social media is a big thing. It's a new thing. But for the guys who are 15 and 20, 35, and that kind of thing, social media is what they use every day. Um, our presentation is going to be done by um, Jim Pagiasis. Yes. yes. And um, I'll be very quick, Jim, because I certainly don't want to cut into your time here. Uh, Jim is uh, an author, a published author, as a matter of fact, speaker. He's a speaker and the lead of the and the lead up again. Can you talk a little louder? A little louder. Can you talk a little louder? Speak a little louder, sorry. Uh, Jim is the founder of uh, Get Connected. Make Wealth Happen. He has been, he has published articles online for the Toronto Public Library, Showbiz, Showbiz Express, Continent, Centennial College happens.ca linking people and entrepreneurs out business blog these are places he published them. Staples Business Depot and Metroactive.org he put it articles by um, FedEx Great Canada, Newsletter, Centennial College, Accent Mass Magazine, and so on. He has been um, on that channel that, uh, speaking of how to become networking success. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to bore you with this. Um, I'll let Jim experience all his demonstrate who he is. attending uh, the event today. It was uh, great to be here for most of the day. Yeah, Lee was kind of enough to allow me to come here and speak to you and I got my also friend Chris with that and we spoke with you about that. So, so I'll be sure you'll do a presentation about social media made simple. But because of time time constraints, I'll be running through the presentation fairly quickly. What will happen at the end, you'll get a copy of this presentation to you, Dr. Yamax, in the next seven days. So you have the whole entire presentation. I'll be here to answer any questions you may have at the end. So social media, we have to be simple. Best practices and strategy are going to make small business and non profits and make it work for you. As I said, my name is Jim Pagiams. This is the founder of Get Connect, Make Wealth Happen. I'm also the author an authorized local extra trainer for constant contact with the GTA. And it's been a great experience uh, to get hired by constant contact in January. I had a lot of successes in the software last year, and that's when they approached me to actually teach it to entrepreneurs and professionals. You can find me on Facebook, facebook.com, GCMWH. Also, you follow me on Twitter. I have my business card up at the end. This is how I put an S in between, and I'm trying to grow my Twitter following. So, if you're going to tweet up, if I have a contest with a friend of mine, we'll get the first to get a thousand followers by December. Uh, so, following you will be very, very exciting. I'll, I'll give you my card at the end. It's exciting about that. You can also find me on LinkedIn, and uh, you'll find me definitely on social media. So, we're going to get started. So, as agenda, as I said, I'm going to try and get to really concrete for the information. Why, what is social media marketing? Why marketing using social media? We'll talk about three things connections, engaging content, and conversations. Managing your time activity, know what the next steps are. So social media marketing, what is it? Why do we do it? We want what? Or customers, clients, volunteers, members, we want to join people to follow us, to uh, 
either uh, learn more about our business. Okay, we have a number of businesses here probably stuff from internet, different types, and you can use that this mo this model here to make it work for you. But also the other thing today is time of the day. So social media gives opportunity to really promote ourselves in an effective and professional way. Well, the statistics here, just quickly, as you see, Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn are the top three right now used uh, online. And these statistics were, were done in 2011, so they're probably even higher than that. As you see, there's video sharing and many more. But as you see the impact Facebook and Twitter shown. I mean, any commercial you see right now, you see the logos on the top left, bottom left, top left of the commercial, Facebook and Twitter. It's huge. Uh, I have a average size Facebook, and I said my Twitter is growing. And uh, I've been to events where people are uh, talking, and I said they'll, they'll add me to their Twitter before they add me to their Facebook. So uh, I'm, I'm the opposite. So I have to grow myself my Twitter base. So I'll be talking Twitter a lot today. So <laughs> hope, you don't, hope you don't mind. Well, we've reached a point where you know people try. You know, what percent people trust ads? Seven, eight percent people trust consumer recommendations. So the goal is, is you ask a friend something before you, you go buy something, rather than maybe look at a TV commercial. And I'm looking for a new car in the next 18, 24 months. So I'm starting my research now. I ask you, know, I'm getting another Honda. And, you know, which one is it? You know, I start asking now. Do my research already? Well, just very quickly. There's different types of people who are interested in us. You know, we got raving fans, customers, and prospects. And the goal is, is we want to convert everybody to become a raving fan. It's gonna take time. Good friend Deanna there. She she has a statement. She says she goes, uh, follow where Jim goes. Just type it in GPS and go. Uh, she's she's worn that up. I appreciate her saying that because she knows that I'm not gonna lead. I'll lead someone to where they they, they can get some great information. So now she's returning to people allowing me to speak here today. So the goal is, is to find those potential customers and prospects that want to my business. And I found that through social media that worked for me. I had a, I have a fairly good sized list, but I wanted to become more connected to those prospects and customers. And it can kind of work for me. And it can make it work for you too. So building a social network, fans, followers, connections, it's relevant and interesting content that is shared allowing you to reach and engage more people than our business. And as you see, the top three are right there. I'm a big guy on LinkedIn. Have we LinkedIn here? LinkedIn? How many Facebook fans do we have here? Hey, how about Twitter? <laughs> a few, okay, all right, those ones. So, so, it says here you're not alone. Social media marketing looks interesting, but I will never have a million customers, even 5,000. Well, you can't if you, if you work at it. Um, there's definitely different ways that people pay attention to what, what's being said online. I think that they are. It creates awareness. And that's the word I want to share over with it. Social media creates awareness. And when you create that, you create that engagement. Now, I'll try to share some stories with you at the end of what happened to me when I engaged my crowd and how quickly I did it. If you remind me, I'll tell you at the end when we're done. So you guys, you can successfully market your small business or association because you have happy customers, excellent customer experiences, or interesting important things to say. That's what I did. I had interesting important things to share to say and I wanted to share them. Events I was speaking at, events I was attending, I have some great events I can share with you that are happening in the next few weeks. So uh, that's what I used it for. So connections, engaging content, conversation. We're going to cover these as, as quickly as we can, but as give you some information on all of these here. So you set reasonable goals and expectations. And everything takes time. So putting together an email marketing plan can takes time to do so. But again, uh, with constant contact, when you you can uh, I can offer you a 50, uh, 60 day free trial to use the service. Part of that is you have access to me that I can help you get started. When you, when you want to pay for the service, uh, you have access to coaches, and that's the thing that that, that that differs us from all the others out there. Is access to coaches six days a week. Mm -hmm phone and ask them exactly what you need and they'll help you. And that's what led to my success. I had those coaches in my back pocket and they really help me out. So we'll put this with some examples here. And what I'll do is like, you see many advertisements and my, my challenge to you at the end of this presentation, next time you're online, look at businesses and how they're promoting their business. Because even though you may, not, may or may not have a business, that's okay. 
we're going to give you a, a simple template to follow and see exactly how you could market yourself better and what you can do. So you see Pickle here, they got Constant Contact, they have Twitter, they have YouTube, they have Foursquare, they have all of them uh, throughout this advertisement. Now, I'm not saying you need all of them, but I think the first three are, are important to have. So you see many different examples online with this, with this happening. Am I have, have a pets? Do I have pets? Or this uh, company here called Big Little Dogs, uh, they had a social media presence, but they wanted to take it to the next level. What they did in short is in three days they wanted to create more likes and subscribers, and they did it. All because of social media, and they actually won an award for this. So I'm like, I want to get to a thousand followers on Twitter by December 31st, 2012. I'll say it again. A thousand followers by December 31st, I don't know, I've heard of buying me lunch. Right? So I, ha I have 11 months, but again, it can be done and do it effectively. And I did it in 90 days because I knew I had a mission of what exactly I wanted to get done. So with Kingdom Dogs, you get results. They had their monthly sales for 23%. New customers account for 40% of their growth. And 80% of new customers have continued to buy bigger products. So they did do well and resulted in money. Okay, very powerful story. Now, I don't have any pets, but Lisa Cameron, my uh, director here on Terra, she has a uh, chihuahua and her dog rules the house. Uh, here you go again. Uh, use the social media to mail your customers to get engagement. A lot of businesses are using is they're using their Facebook and their marketing working together. Okay, and that's what creates interest. So again, you see the logos. This is what you see. These logos you will see everywhere. Every car commercial now you see down there. And they're not even tell you how to find them. They expect you to how to find how to find them. Isn't that interesting? They go, they just put the little sign there, and you gotta go and type in the name of the business to, to find them. So like, you, here's your homework. Go go find us, right? <coughs> so connections. There's different types. Uh, it, we break them up because one is the social network, as I talked earlier. One is content, Flickr, YouTube, SlideShare, where you can enter information on there. Uh, anybody here of Foursquare? Foursquare is basically a simple program where you can see where you are, you generate points, and then you can burn those points. So when you go to a restaurant, they'll give you a discount on your next meal, depending on how many followers and points you have. So I got kind of addicted to that uh, uh, a few months ago. And Lisa, Lisa started me on that, and I, I found a few more after that. So, uh, discover what people are interested in, and with constant contact, what, what happens is, through the analytics, is we find out where your customers are coming from. Twitter, Facebook, where they are, and this is what separates us between, between the rest, and we're constantly getting better with that. So you contacts want to keep in touch with them on their terms, so you find out where it is. At the top, again, on every email you, now you get, you'll see indication. Follow us on Twitter, follow us on LinkedIn, follow us on Facebook. Uh, I have mine at the top and the bottom of my email marketing campaigns. Kickstart your growth, user email list. Everyone has an email, it doesn't matter how small or large. Uh, I mean, many people have 100 people. That's fine. Work with there and grow it. When I started, I had about 1,500 and dwindled a little bit. But it was a, the healthy list that I can that I can work with. Maybe I've had 700 people in built businesses. Lisa Kember, her business, she would have a marketing business. She only had 700 people in her business, and she had a million dollars in sales. So she had the group she focused on, and that was enough for her. It worked really well. So here you go with some examples of here is information. So when you're on uh, the new timeline, you know the timeline feature on Facebook now. Have you ever seen the new timeline feature? Well, here you can see exactly how it's set up and how they have information on their timeline, but they also have information on Twitter and how they can use that information in both, in both areas. Focus your presence. Uh, you, can't, you have to set your personal professional time. Uh, I've had, this is what I'm going to work with, was a new timeline feature. I have to separate my, my personal page and my professional page. I have to, Take some people off my personal page onto my professional page, and it's taking some time. But again, with the way that the social media is going, I have to change that. So it takes time to do so. Uh, again, how you, how you make it, how you can communicate. Is it informal? Is it broad? Again, you have a plan on how you want to communicate. So here's an example of somebody who has a Facebook page. 
their YouTube. It's all is synonymous. You get my business card, you see the same thing on the website, you see the same thing in my marketing campaign, you see the same thing in my blog. It's, everything's the same. Her Twitter page, her LinkedIn, has the same picture. Content. This is one of the success that I had, is I had interesting content that I wanted to share. I have a huge blog that I created three years ago, and that uh, helped with creativity. Um, the information out. I had websites. I, I engaged by discussions. I had videos and podcasts I did. People love to see video of me. They can only bear one video of me every time. I put three on. That was a disaster. So only one video of me now as if they can handle. So my feelings were a little hurt, but I but I survived. Uh, content is the fear of social networks. So it's great content is important. Uh, this weekend there's an event happening at the Direct Energy Center, Green Living, for three days, and I'm part of an organization there helping out with their business and tweeting, you know, I'm going out to the hallway, tweeting, coming back, with a little tweet again, because we want to hear our goal. We, uh, it's called Swap City. We have a, um, we want to bring in CDs, DVDs, and LPs, and we want to generate 10,000 uh, trades uh, that weekend. So we're, we're a little more behind, but we're, we're working on uh, hitting our goal. So again, it's all about communication. So we're getting on Twitter and telling people about our experience. Again, how do you do it? Photography. You can put photography. There's an uh, example here how Facebook and their email marketing campaign works. And you can uh, create a Facebook page where you can join email marketing campaign. When you do that, you, you get into the loop of what's happening with the business. And that's what I've come to find recently. Again, everything is the same. Uh, listen to statistics. How many people on Facebook? 800 million. Probably going to hit a, a billion very soon. Okay, I haven't heard that number. Probably a little more. That was 2011. So we're probably even close to that right now. So business pages are, are the popular thing right now with the changes that Facebook has made. So creating a personal page and a professional page is very important. Basic anomaly of a page here. Pretty very quick. Interesting numbers you have here from the pictures, how many likes you have, and the information you're sharing. And, uh, and also some of the photos. So uh, take the time if you're uh, the Facebook users, go on there and see all those numbers um, and what they what they mean and how you can use them. Again, this company has videos. Uh, this uh, company here, they take a snapshot of all their friends on Facebook and they put it on their plan. Here's Bell from Farmers Market. They have insights about the business that they post and uh, things like that happen to commu communicate with their customers. There's a hack of watermelon. Boy, was that interesting. Now all these people are talking about that. I have people sending me pictures all the time of different things happening in their life and sometimes I click on them, sometimes they make a comment. Okay, so you can have fun with it too. Twitter following, again, you can change the, the background, the wallpaper, and make it your own, make, make it your business. Quickly about Twitter, the same thing. Uh, you have your Twitter, to mine's Jim S. Pagiansis, hashtag, that's how you find me on Twitter. I'm taking a couple followers today. And then this is how you, you add your, your, your Twitter links. You can put links on there, like for example, uh, I can walk with pictures of me here today and tell them this is what I was doing, and I was also somewhere on the same day. So I can see how people can see how productive I'm doing my, my weekends. Again, images, put them on there. Uh, on Twitter, actually, you can put videos on Twitter. Everybody know this? You can put uh, uh, 140 characters, and there's a button now where you can have more, more videos. Here. So again, come to see you in action. LinkedIn, another great professional networking site. Uh, it's been since 2003. Uh, I, this is the most aggressive one that I built, the connections that I have, that, that I would recommend to do this one first. Again, you get to put who you are, a little bit about what you do, a great summary. I'll tell you a quick story. Uh, because of my profile I had on LinkedIn, I got a phone call March 16th by a US-based company to help them do some consulting work, pay consulting work. I was like, all because of my LinkedIn profile I got a phone call. It was, it was awesome. So it does work. You got to have a great profile. And I can show how to do that. So again, how you connect with and, and what, how many connections you have. And this lady has more than 500. I am near almost a thousand. I'm near almost to a, 